All right, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I'm here today to bring you this 1970 Dodge Charger RT from the hit film franchise, The Fast and the Furious. Now this is the latest in RC toys available for that franchise. I just bought it on the weekend from Toys R Us, so let's get cracking, let's unbox this baby. Slot that open there. Got the instructions in the back door here. Nice, too excited to read those. We'll just stick them back there. Got some cardboard, just get a finger out. And here we go. It's all happening. There it is. Check this baby out. Hopefully the lighting's good, but this is a gloss black 70 Charger RT. Check that out. Nice. We've got some sort of a quick release mechanism for the controller here. Just slot that out. There it is. There's our controller. Have a look at that. Alright, we'll stick that at the back here and we'll release this car. So on the bottom there we have some what do we got? Like a key, a quarter turn, quick release. Very nice. That came out easy. Already it's looking like it's got some nifty ideas. Of course the previous RC models of the Fast and the Future is Fast and the Future. Oh, can't even talk. So excited. Fast and the Furious previous RC models were made by the brand called Nico or Nico. This of course is made by Jada Toys. So it's a different brand. A little bit of cardboard on the bottom there. I believe this car is now ready to go into the wild. There we have it. It's free. Check it out. First impressions are very nice. This could go as a static display. It is plastic, but you know, you're two meters away. May as well be die cast if you wanted to have that as a display. Very nice. I believe this is a replica of the car used in the first movie because it's gloss black and in the previous sequels it was a matte black. It's got the Fast and the Furious license plate at the back there. Big supercharger hanging out the bonnet with the bug catcher on top. It's the bug catcher there if you're not familiar with hot rod lingo. Nice. Just sit that down there while I read the box. It did say batteries included and a USB connection. Not familiar with that, so we'll check that out. And these are some other makes and models available at the moment. We've got the Ice Charger from when they had a race down in Antarctica for whatever reason in the 8th movie. Got a 67 Corvette, that was from the previous film. This car was from a previous film and I have no idea what make and model that is. Not really interested in the exotics. The big Dodge Charger however, this is where it's at, we've just lost the box but it doesn't matter. I reckon it's about time to give this baby a test run. Let's see if it is ready to race. It does say that there's a rechargeable battery included in the car, which is sensational. On the back here. We've got batteries included in the controller as well. This is ready to go here. Let's just slot open the base of this because I've never come across a rechargeable battery included in the car already. Just slot that down there. So can you pick up the bottom there on the camera one? I have no idea, but we're going for it anyway. I'll assume you can. So we've got a little thing here titled open, which I reckon opens it. It's not that cryptic. There it is, opens up. What do we got here? We have the USB cord connected to an internal battery to charge this bad boy. Check that out. Again, this is from a department store. This is a toy grade RC. That's sensational. I've not come across this before. So if we can just flick that back in there. Close that trap door up. Yep, that's secure. Alright. 
Let's take this for a spin. Is it better than this here? This is the previous one from the sixth movie, which you've seen in some of my other videos on this channel. I pitted this against the Dodge Charger General Lee from the Fast uh, from the Dukes of Hazard TV show and movies. This Nico brand RC, not that good. I was not impressed with this. And this latest car is a different brand and was the same price as this uh, Charger Daytona behind me, which came out during the sixth movie instalment. So, there you go. Is it better? Let's give it a go. Alright, let's get this party started. Oh yeah, that turbo boost button does give more power. That donut was created by me touching this turbo boost button on the controller here. It does give extra speed, enabling the back end of the car to spin around in a donut fashion. So, oh, and it sets the car moving just by pushing that. Fantastic. Very impressed with this car, the turning, the stopping, excellent. You can feather the throttle just lightly or give it full power. And of course, if you hit the boost button up the top there, the blue button, it does give extra power. I have not charged this up. This had enough power in the car, ready to race. Battery's already in the control. This thing is good to go straight out of the box. Very impressive. Good power, good top speed. Can't go that fast inside the house here. Um, Definitely has a good turn of speed for a toy grade RC straight out of the box. Excellent. It is way better than the Nico Charger Daytona that I showed you previously. It is much faster, much nicer to control. A little bit of extra power from the boost button when you need it. It looks a million times better. The shine off the paintwork, really good. Very impressed with it. It is a definite upgrade and what a bargain with a rechargeable battery installed ready to go whenever you feel like it excellent well that was a good time i'll just flick that controller off flick the car off on the bottom here excellent what a great car to have don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you would like to see more RC cars from the Fast and Furious franchise and perhaps some races where I put them together Don't forget to comment in the comment section below and we'll see you guys next time